Hello traders, FS Pepcolette here. Today is Friday, June 14th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the pound dollar, I mean, I'm definitely still looking at this as a one, two, three pattern. I still think it's going to go up and make either a running flat or an expanding flat wave C. So, anyways, let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I mean, nothing's really changed for me. I mean, I still am looking at this as the end of a wave two. I still think this is an uptrend like a wave one. I still think this is a WXY wave two. I still think this is more likely to continue to make higher highs, higher lows on this weekly time frame for a wave three. Either an expanding flat or a running flat wave three. So going down to the daily time frame, I mean the daily on the pound does kind of look like a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If this does go down, if it does break structure, it's going to prove that this trend right here is over. For me, I still, even if that does happen, I think it's just a wave 1. I think it's probably just going to make an ABC of 2 and likely go back up for a wave 3. But until we actually get that break of structure, break of structure to the downside, there's really no proof that it is making a wave 2. There's always a chance that it could just go down, test structure, and just keep on trending up so and for now i would definitely still be kind of bullish unless you're trading on the one hour time frame and lower going down to the four hour time frame if this is a wave five then this is almost definitely going to go down break starts and hold probably making a wave a of wave two if it doesn't go down and it does decide to pull back at the 78 percent and go up and break starts i mean we do have some pretty good dollar news coming out today so there's definitely a chance that this does happen but i would definitely have to see this picture right here before i would even think about going long because looking at the daily time frame it does seem more likely like it will go down break starts making it wave a of wave Wave two most likely. So going down to the one hour time frame, I mean it does kind of look like it could be a complete one, two, three, four, maybe five, six, seven wave downtrend. So I mean if it does respect this level, if it does go up, if it does break starts, then stop looking for sorts and start looking for longs again. If it doesn't do that, but instead continues to make lower lows, lower highs, especially if you trade on below the one hour time frame, you should definitely be continuing to look for sorts at the end of every pullback you see. If it goes down and breaks starts, it's probably a wave A. If it doesn't go down and break starts, then it might still end up continuing back up on the higher time frames. But at this point, it definitely seems like the wave A scenario is probably going to be by far the most likely thing that's going to happen. Probably a wave A of wave 2, in my opinion. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my daily Zoom meetings and my swing trade setups. As always, thank you and happy trading.